What's going on guys? It's the Poster64 back here with another Godzilla figure review. Guys, today we have another Funko Pop from the Godzilla vs. Kong line. Guys, today is the Barnes & Noble exclusive, the Flocked Kong with Battle Axe. So this one's pretty darn cool. I've always liked the Flocked ones, but this is actually the first Flocked Funko Pop I've owned. Real quick, we'll bust out the box. Just want to show a quick, quick look at the box. Pretty basic. It's got the same 1021 number as the standard Kong does, so it's not an actual different release. Got the Kong in there. I already have it on the plastic Funko, uh, the pop stacks there. Just show you the size of this thing real quick. So there's obviously the whole line you can get. If you want to check out the barcode, uh, I don't know if you could show that to somebody at the Barnes Noble store, they could check on availability for it. There's the box real quick. There's the standard box. Like I said, same number, same deal on this guy, just this flock sticker and the Barnes Noble sticker on there. And then guys, busting out the Kong. Obviously again, same look as the the standard, obviously with that flock, flock color, you got it, it, the color shows up different, but same pose, same axe. But this one's really nice looking. I like the, I like the feel of the flocks. I've, like I said, I've never actually owned a flocked Funko Pop before. So it's cool to have one. I got cats, so of course the fur is getting stuck all over them. Mine does have a little paint chip here. So that's not the most optimal, but that's all right. It's a small little imperfection there, but definitely a cool one. Let's check out the ruler real quick. Just uh, obviously standard Funko Pop size, standing about four and a half inches or so. Meaning he'll scale pretty well with the Godzilla. Obviously Kong's a bit tall there, but the Funko Pops don't have perfect scaling. But he looks fine standing up next to uh, your Godzilla. And he'll scale fine with the rest of your standard Funko Pops if you want to line them up with those guys. I just wanted to do a quick video showing off the flock guy. Get you a good look at some of the, some of the detail on him. If you have the Kong with Battle Axe, he's the same with this one. So obviously this one is exclusive to Barnes & Noble. I got this guy for about $15 on their website. I assume it'll uh, pop up in stores at some point. No idea when that'll happen. If I can still find an active link, I'll post it in the description. So check that out um, if I have an active link in there for this guy where you can, you can order him. I pre-ordered him a while ago and they finally just shipped him. So I'm just getting mine here at the end of May. I've had him pre-ordered for probably a couple of months. I know some people have gotten them earlier than I have, but I just received mine. Not too later than uh, than most people I've seen post about it, so I'm happy with the release date. Uh, but yeah, check out the check the link below if you want to if you try to pre-order him, and if not, if you like I said, you can try and screenshot this, bring that into your Barnes and Noble, see if they can do anything with it, look it up in their system. Anyways, guys, like I said, I just wanted to do a quick video on this Funko Pop. This is the last Funko Pop I was waiting for, so I now do have the complete Godzilla vs. Kong line of Funko Pops. So stay tuned for a video showing everything. I'll just kind of do a quick um, overwrapping video for the whole line. But anyways, guys, this has been the Barnes & Noble exclusive Flocked Kong with Battle Axe. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.